Hello everybody, how are you all doing today, baby whales, mini dolphins, and tiny, tiny little penguins? I hope you guys have had a fantastic day so far. I'm going to give you guys a very, very quick update on Bitcoin, and then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right back to bed because I am exhausted today because um, I've been training a lot and I've been, I've been pushing myself to the limit on purpose, and it's been very, very, very fun. Though, of course, it, there's always a time to, to take a little bit of a step back, right? And I think um, today I'm actually going to sleep guys i'm gonna sleep for like eight hours instead of six hours it's gonna be like whoa whoa philicon where are you you haven't been gone from twitter for this long where are you there's something must be wrong with him that's probably what everyone's gonna think guys <laughs> okay so let's talk about what has been going on and yeah i i've um i've been doing very well in terms of predicting okay but first of all we got to talk about these major resistance and support lines all right so right here we clearly have some massive resistance right there was one here at 9,500, which acts as a very good support. And now there's one at 9,750, which acts as a support slash resistance, right? So those are very relevant points. And what I pointed out in my chart is this right here. 9,500 is now a support right here, right? And then I was mentioning that our support zones, okay, were treated with two different price points. One was where the weekly candle closed right around here right, 9,074, that range right there, and two, this support line at 9,500 that I was talking about earlier, and yesterday I also mentioned that I didn't know exactly where the top was, but I did feel a top coming very, very soon, and surely enough, we were hitting the top. I predicted that the top was going to be between 9,750 and between $10,000, okay? So that nailed it pretty much right on the head. Now, the question is, what is going on, right? Okay, so now we corrected. I knew that a correction was happening because everything was very oversold. And I'm talking about, and I'm talking about like the two hour charts, the one hour charts, which were in very, very high regions, right? Like up to here, for example. And then we finally came down. We found support here on the RSIs right around this range right here. Awesome. Always good whenever we find support on an RSI range. So now we can clearly identify that the RSI support on a one hour chart is roughly 55 ish around that range. So what we can automatically say, because the RSI range found support at such a reasonable point, that this is a very bullish, super bullish pattern right now. Okay. We didn't even bother correcting to the 9,000 ranges at all, like I thought we could have. Instead, we just skyrocketed at the, at the 286 uh, Fibonacci level, okay? Now, I want to point out some things. A channel with a clearly established support much watch closely to see a breach in the channel support, which signals a correction underway. So, as soon as it broke down right there, you guys knew for a fact it would have been a very bad idea to go long, right? And another thing we point out is that this, you treat this as a major trend line resistance, okay? Major trend line resistance right there, or support rather, okay? And you don't want this to break. You definitely don't want this to break at all because, well, if it breaks, then, you know, we might be in a little bit of trouble. So what do we expect next, guys, now that we've wrapped up everything? Well, what we should expect next is, first of all, let's do our Fibonacci retracement tool here. We take our Fibonacci retracement tool. And then we go up to where I think that this possible point is that makes wave five right here, okay? And I believe it's a new impulse wave because first of all, this is a big, big red candle down there with big red volume, which signals a correction to me. Now, I don't know if we're if this is the end of the correction or not, okay? I really don't know. What could have happened is this right here. Let me just uh, go to my automatic tool here, okay? what could be going on i'm going to delete this channel now okay luna what are you doing you doing okay sorry my dog is biting at my feet here hi luna you doing okay hello okay let me let me show you guys a possibility as well okay let's say that this is not the end of this correction right here what could be going on is that we could just be, this is, could just be an extended wave, right? 
it could just be some sort of extended wave and I am actually counting my wave wrong right now, okay? That could be a very good possibility as well. Now let me show you what I mean. So let's say that our correction is still underway and this is actually, excuse me, this is all of wave three, just to give an example, right? That could be very likely as well, where this is now wave one, this is now wave two, perhaps that's wave three, that's wave four, and there's still a fifth wave somewhere, okay? So please don't discount that off of the table right now. I think that that could be likely as well. And another scenario is that, like, I can't just ignore this impulse wave up, right? I can't just ignore that because it is getting a higher low. So I've got to take it into consideration that this could be a count as well, right? Like, this could be a very valid count. And if I look at all the indicators, right, like on the four hour chart, etc., it is kind of reaching oversold zones right now. On the daily, not even close yet. Not even close. Right, so we are reaching some very dangerously over, oh, sorry, I meant to say overbought regions, okay? So that's important right there. Hmm. So now I ask myself, is this a valid count? Is it, does it make sense at all? Because if, if I didn't actually consider this as a count, and I consider this as my wave, you know, five right there, and I consider this part of a correction wave, then we would have only retraced about two, three, six, which is very bullish. Right? And I'm not really a big fan of that, actually. Not a fan of it at all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here instead, and I say to myself, okay, this is a m more respectable retracement point right here, which is between, you know, the 236 and about the 382 level right here. That looks really good to me, I'd say, okay? So, so now that I consider this as a valid count, well, let's just set some very, very small targets of, of where we think we're going to get up to, okay? So I'm going to delete this right here. We're going to treat this wave one. I know that my chart's very, very messy, guys, okay? But my charts are, are at, by the end, by the time we're done with the charts, they actually look very, very nice, I'd say. So now wave, we don't want wave failure to occur. I'm just going to keep this here as well. This channel support is now broken, right? Channel support is now absolutely 100% broken. We don't need to worry about that anymore right now. So I'm going to delete this as well. Now let's see what kind of targets we are actually going to go for based on our Fib extension here now. And what we see is we're about at target, guys. We're pretty much almost at target. <clears throat> okay. We're almost at target right here. So I cannot see this getting much, much higher than that. Um, not really much at all, actually. Right, so this is based on the first wave extension. That the third wave is actually almost near the top right here. I'd say we couldn't get higher than ten thousand five hundred before a correction is underway. That would be the most if if it even gets there, right? So now this target is somewhere between I would say one thousand one hundred and eighty, one thousand one hundred eighty, and ten five. That would be the most rational target based on this first wave extension right there and then i still expect some sort of correction guys don't get me wrong like i still expect some sort of correction to maybe 10,700 10,500 right i'm going to treat that as a major support zone so now i'm going to move up this box right here this is going to be one of my support zones now okay 10,500 to 10,750 right it makes complete sense for me to now move it up because i don't expect that anymore to correct to around the 9,500 range. Uh, if it does, that'll be a really big correction, guys. Like, we're talking a huge correction, okay? I'm gonna choose 10,480. Let's choose psychological numbers, actually, and 10, 9, sorry, 9,500 and 9,750, right around those ranges, right here. And I'm, where am I getting this part from up there? Well, this area right there, okay? This whole area right here, 10,500 and also this area right there 10,750 now we're clearly meeting a lot of resistance guys around this region right here right this is this is also why I think that this is gonna be a major resistance area right up here and I don't think that we're gonna really breach it I think we're gonna get to <clears throat> 10,500 ish at most and then we're gonna correct because I believe that this is now the more valid wave count what do you guys think of this? I think it's a pretty good wave count, right? 
I mean, we think of how far this has gone already. We think of the four hour chart. We think of the wave as well. The wave and the wave signals that the wave count as an Elliott wave signals that there's got to be a correction sometime soon coming. So this critical resistance is now at 9,700 critical resistance. Oh, sorry, which now becomes support. Which now becomes support. Like that. Right? So we treat this as a major trend line, right? We treat wave point as a hard support, first of all, okay? That's something that we've got to identify. I treat this as a hard support. I now add 9,500. Actually, I don't even want to keep this in here anymore, all right? I, don't, I really don't want to keep that in there. Now, we treat 9,500 as a hard support. We treat 9,750 as a support as well, right? We treat this um, major support line right there as a support. So now when we factor in all these different support zones, we can't help but conclude that, um, that this is the proper count, that we're most likely going to reach up to $10,500 right over here. Maybe, maybe not even, but I think that would be the absolute peak for now, just based on all the, all the wave counts and the resistance points as well. And also, we will most likely correct to between the 9,000 to 9,700 range, right? 9,000, 9,700 range. And I'm guessing, I'm just going to, you know, choose something like that. And then this one will most likely go upwards like that. I think we're going to go sideways for a few days. Who knows? We might not even get there, guys. But the point is, this 5 is somewhere somewhere who knows okay i don't know when the date is going to be to be quite honest but what i do know is that is this is not wave three correction okay if that was wave three correction we would know it guys wave three correction would be a very scary thing okay and then we have our final fit wave five in here somewhere in there now how do we get those targets that one would probably be a 261.8 target right up there or a little bit higher than here i'd say Actually, let's move this target up now because we're about to hit the 161.8. So I'm going to go with a very conservative target and choose for a very round number. And let's go take a look at where we see activity before with lots of resistances. See, see all this area? This area <clears throat> all acts as a major resistance, right? So we, if, we don't, if we don't break this, I'm just being very clear right now that this could be the top anywhere here. The top is anywhere between 10,000. 100 right and 11,500 i'm calling that out right now that that's my top and then we look at the most relevant top as well and we say okay well where is the next one that could possibly be it lots of activity in these regions right 10,800 i would say and then we'll treat this now as another major major uh, resistance area that will probably end up peaking and then once we hit this, as long as we don't get an extended fifth wave, right, we'll end up correcting to a major target later down the road. We'll end up correcting to roughly between, you never know, between maybe 9,000 and, and 9,600. So these are some possible scenarios. So these are my quick thoughts to summarize, guys, very quickly. And I need to be very clear, okay, that the top is going to be in somewhere between 10,000, 100 which is now and between 10,500 at most I think okay that's going to be really really pushing it really pushing it if we actually get something much higher than that all right 10,500 just a round psychological number like that and then once we finish we will correct it to a possible zone most likely between this zone between 9500 and 9750 because we'll, we're going to treat the wave 4 territory as a major support okay and then after that we'll most likely end up uptrending to we'll try first of all we'll try for the 10800 ranges so these are my quick thoughts i hope it has helped you navigate through these perilous times <laughs> and hopefully it has um assisted you in your journey if it has guys make sure you upvote this stuff on on, uh, on steam it okay you don't get a lot of money on there trust me it's not a lot at all for each blog of mine that takes about two hours to plan for the public i get paid like five dollars or something on there it's not much at all but you know what every little bit matters and i like getting steam i love getting steam on there and it's kind of like a little project of mine just to see how much i can grow it so hopefully you guys can support me as well on there so other than that, guys, um, make sure you have a great day.
please like, subscribe, and share to the material on YouTube and Twitter as well. And have yourselves a great day, baby whales, tiny dolphins, and many, many little penguins. Have yourself a good one. I'll see you later this evening. Guess where I'm going? I'm going right back to bed, guys. You guys know why? Because I work for myself. So sometimes I wake up just so I can take a nap. Hey-oh! See you guys.